Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to try to show you how to edit the uh, Samsung Gear 360 videos in Auto Pano video. And in this case I use the Pro version. Uh, but you can use uh, the, the non-pro version as well. First of all you have to crop down the Samsung Gear 360 video, the, the sort of raw file that looks like this. You have to crop this. And in my case I use Premiere Pro. You can probably use some other software, video editing software as well. New project, overwrite, yes. Import media, I have it here. And you drag the video into the timeline. So here you have those two uh, videos. And the first thing you have to do is to put on uh, or um, add a crop uh, transition or effect to the to the video. To make this here, go into the effect control here on where it says left. I choose 50 percent, so you see the video is cropped 50 percent, and then I go to sequence, sequence settings, change frame size to 1920 here. So it's 1920 by 1920. Click OK. Click OK here. Now you have your video. You have to drag it so it um, fits the, the window here. Like that. You can use the arrow key to make it uh, better. There I have it. Then you go and export media, put whatever name here in the settings to your liking, and click Q or export. So, and when that's done, you go back. And you go into edit, undo, or use control Z, whatever it's called in English. Go back. Now I moved it a little bit, of course, yes. With the arrow key, so it's There you have it, so like the original look of the file. And then you go to right, 50%, click OK or enter. Um, go into sequence, sequence settings, so the same thing all over again. Move the video on a picture here like that go to file export media do 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 all over okay so then when you have exported those two files I have them here right now I've done this before so they are already here. You go into auto video, uh, auto pano video. 
drag those files, the left one and the right one. In here. Right. The good thing about using Samsung Gear 360 videos is that you don't need to syn synchronize the videos because that's one thing that the 360 is doing quite well but you have to stitch and you can use length model I found that 7 mil fisheye is kind of okay but you might end up with a video that looks kind of strange we'll see no this time it worked okay so here I have the video now stitched and it looks good so stitching here you see the camera is positioned this way here the stitching here the fold here it's good the car looks nice as well yep and over here of course it's difficult for you to see maybe but you can try it yourself of course and already here you can see that no color defects or what you would call it uh, so I can use the 7 mil I can also make a template template uh, and uh, uh, make it more more uh, accurate more perfect uh, it depends on what the video is like here you have a lot of clouds a lot of patterns for the the, the stitching to to, um, uh, to connect sort of you still got some flare here and that's probably impossible to get rid of unless you really position the camera correctly when you film uh, and another thing ex uh, not just uh, that you don't get these color differences between those two lenses on the camera is that you actually can move the horizon here in the panel so you don't have to have the the camera leveled um, and so you can change the horizon whatever you like and the, the center point as well if you want to have this guy here in the center or maybe the street here or whatever and then of course you can go in and do all the other things you can in auto panel video like color I'm not sure if this is gonna work now I had some some files that turned out strange when I um, had this auto transition done like this now now it doesn't look so nice and uh, and unfortunately you can't go back in auto panel video so you have to do it all over or save after each and every step and here you can of course you can go in here and change the the mode the mood the mode the mood of course of the the film so it looks kind of crazy Don't know if this is going to change anything. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's okay. Back to to this 
starting point sort of anyway you can play around in here or just export the first good um, result and then edit in Premiere Pro or other video editing softwares of course and after you finished all this stuff here you could render and here you have not the same file size as the original and that's of course because here you have a little bit crop of the video and overlap in the stitching so i don't think this is going to be very noticeable at least not if you're looking in in samsung gear vr headset and definitely not when you watch it on facebook because the quality is not that great there and render as usual and then you get a file that is like this So here we are running around looking terribly crazy sort of but still done in auto panel video and uh, you can play around with the stitching and everything in Giga and uh, do a lot of things much better than done in Action Director Okay, so that's it. Hope this was helpful. Goodbye, everyone.